now we have few arguments, we've, we have few disagreements. That we've never had before. Things have changed between me and Froggy. We had less expectations from each other. You can walk away and leave from a friendship. Assalamu alaikum beautiful people welcome to another vlog as you guys know I gave away two brand new iPhone XS Max and a PlayStation 4 Pro But the truth is so many more of you guys deserve it. So here's the biggest giveaway I have ever done Here's the thing. I'm giving away a brand new iPhone XS Max 256 GB But this one is special because this one is going to be hand delivered to you no matter where you live in the world Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, UK, United States, Canada, no matter where you live, I'm gonna come to your house and give this one to you. Here's the thing, you might think Sham is gonna give it to somebody only in Canada and US because it's close by. That's not true. No matter where you live in the world, I'll come and give this to you in your hand. And if you live in Pakistan, India and somewhere else, you know what, maybe I could use a vacation. All you gotta do is give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Every single time I upload a vlog, you have a chance to win by giving a video a thumbs up and subscribing. I'm gonna announce the winner on February the 28th. Good luck. This could be yours. And I'm looking forward to meeting you. Guys, look at Froggy walking around. Yo, you look like one of those people from Alaska. Are you gonna go and live in the igloo now? That's not the car. The car is all the way over there. Nay, we a hot tour though. Leave it. Alright guys, so sometimes in life you realize you live in Canada, everybody's stuck. Look at this car. This car is stuck right here in the snow. The only hope is the monster truck. No, the battery is dead. <laughs> the battery is dead. Oh no. I guess the only hope is not the monster truck. <laughs> yeah. How is the battery dead? I got nothing to say! I feel like we're living in Alaska. Yo, I was about to fall. Look at this. So his car is stuck. He can't get out. He's literally putting a cardboard. Chuchi, what are you doing? I'm getting a box. Let's see what happens when he tries to step on it. Watch this, guys. Just watch. Show us the power of this Hellcat. Mac, you ready? Reinforcements are here to help Chuchi. All right, let's see this. No! Oh, power! Yes! This is me holding it back! See, I'm not going anywhere, Chuchi! Yo! Yo, the car is dancing! Yo, I told him I could pull it out with the monster truck, but he said no. I want to do it on my own! Yo, it's real! Yo, you're not even in the car! The car! What's happening here? Alright, let's see this. Alright guys, it's been it's been a good one. Oh. My hands are starting to fall off! I need to go back in! Mac, what's going on with you and Rose? Wait, is Rose choking you? Mac, Mac, are you okay? <laughs> you actually scared the snake, yo. Yo, look what's happening with Where's Rose. Going? Yo, she's all over your chair. She's running away. You scared her. Look at her. Look, yo, look at her go. Oh my god. How do you feel right now, Mike? Feel good? Yo, compared to the other one we saw, this one is like a little baby. This one's like a little baby. It's lightweight. The other one weighed like 300 pounds. I'm telling you, no joke. I'm not gonna lie, this thing is like pretty heavy. How do you feel? I feel good. I've had smaller snakes, but I mean, she's huge. All right guys, so that moment of truth is here. We waited three months for the dream couch. ago we went to lavish furniture to select our couch well this is the couch it's a custom-made couch what leather is it italian top green leather top green guys what do you see <sighs> what are you so doing got real what are you doing leather. that's not fair i wanted to lie on my first okay anyways patrick is going to explain to you guys how you can get this couch and what is the process of this couch. So our clients first take measurements of their home and based on their area and dimensions, they would pick the design that they like from our Facebook or Instagram page or our website. And then we can make our furniture any size, shape. And then we can add customized changes as well, like cup holders, LED panels, and things like that. And they're not like other furniture stores, so you do have to wait, but the wait is worth it. So imagine someone coming into your house, taking the measurements and designing the couch exactly to your likings. If you want that, this is the man right here, man. How do they find you? They can 
check us out on Instagram. Guys, the links are down below. Instagram. And we have a discount code here as well. So use the discount code. You get 10% off, Sham 10. Right now, go and check it out. The link is down below and get yourself this couch, man. Okay. But keep your eyes off this because this one is mine. And this is my area. All right, guys, so we already know that Froggy has our favorite space. It's right there. Chelsea's sitting right here, too. And look. Oh, hello there, the gym girl. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys might think that Mac is going to sit right there, right? But that's You guys know I need a lot of space to sit. Exactly. So the perfect spot for me would be exactly right here. I didn't even know you were going to do that. This, yo, Mac is sleeping on this. <laughs> perfect. Yo, someone can get it. Someone can get it. Yo, stop disturbing Mac sleeping. <laughs> and guys, as you know, Froggy was looking for a new makeup light. Look, she found one. Froggy, how do you feel? Look. I'm not gonna pull my. Yeah, Mac is gonna do his makeup. It has heat, by the way, as well. If you just so you know. Mac, why are you lying? There's Brian, no heat coming out. What kind of does? What did you do? Wait. Do you have the remote? Yo, Mac broke it. Mac broke it. He has the remote. Wait. Yo, turn it on. Oh my God, Mac! Whoa! Oh my God! Yo, Max, so now that we have the couch, how do you feel about that? I mean, we've waited a very long time, and I'm so excited to the point... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh. 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 Yo, Mac! Yo, where is Mac? What is going on? Oh. 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 Yo, friends are breaking apart! Hey guys, so we just wanted to sit down and explain a few things to you guys. Obviously, me and Froggy were best friends, but now that we're married, things have changed. I mean, we're still best friends, but I feel like relationship-wise, it's a little different because before when we were best friends, we had less expectations from each other. It wasn't like, oh my god, Mawa, it's the end of the world. It was just like, eh, you do you and I do me. Since we have so many responsibilities towards each other and towards families, we feel like things are a little different now. Not in a bad way, but I feel like in a very, very positive way. And this is a positive message to all the couples out there. But you know, I mean, sometimes it's negative too in the perspective that now we have few arguments, we've, we have few disagreements that we've never had before right? yeah but at the end of the day you gotta take that negativity and you gotta turn into positivity because obviously I have to fulfill the role of a husband she has to fulfill the role of a wife and then we have responsibilities towards our families as well and you have to make sure that what you see on social media you know you always see these perfect couples things always aren't like that obviously there's gonna be arguments obviously there's gonna be disagreements because two humans that are gonna be together that's just bound to happen but it's what you do when those arguments arise, defines you. Especially when you're around someone almost 24 seven, there are gonna be situations that you disagree on. There are gonna be questions and concerns that you have towards each other. But I feel like because you know the other person is worth it, you are willing to compromise a few things. And I feel like marriage is more about compromising than it is about just arguing and putting someone else down because you can walk away and leave from a friendship. But you can't walk away and just leave when you're married. To it's like that a really famous example that when a bulb stops working in your house, you don't go and find a new house. You just fix that bulb. So it's kind of like the same thing. And the message that we want to give you guys is that things have changed between me and Froggy. For better and worse, but we make the best of it because worse in the perspective that we didn't really have these arguments back in the day because we had less expectations from each other. But positive in a way because even when we have these arguments or these disagreements, now we know how to work it out because we know that we're loyal to each other. We have a responsibility towards each other and you have to make sure that you work it out. I feel like respecting one another is everything because when you do not have respect in situations where things might go wrong, you might want to let your emotions out. You might want to say something to the other person, but you always have to remember because you can just let it out and then 20 minutes later, everything will be okay. Or even a day or two later, everything will be fine. But the moment you say something, the other person is not going to forget. And those words can mean a lot or they can hurt the other person in a very bad way. And I feel like those kind of things leave scars. So to make a marriage work at the end of the day, you have to have respect and you have to have control over what you're saying. And as you guys know that right now we just had our nikah done and our rukhsti is going to happen later on this year when we're going to officially live together. So obviously there's going to be a lot more expectation, a lot more different things. So this is a positive message to all of you guys in the future when you guys inshallah do get married or when you get into a relationship. Remember one thing that don't base your decisions on somebody else's relationship because grass is not always greener on the other side. Two people are going to be together if they set their differences aside and truly love one another to make sure 
they can make things work. Honestly, there's no relationship without arguments. And if there is a relationship out there without arguments, it's not real. Because to be honest, when you are in a relationship, especially when you're married, you have this thing in you that you cannot just always argue. And you can't argue over little, little things because little things do not matter. It's the bigger picture. Like the bigger picture <laughs> that matters. Like, normally, look, back in the day when we weren't married, I wouldn't just go and start doing this to her, you know? I would yeah, just push her. And I wouldn't push him back. <laughs> Bottom line is, man, I'm so happy that I found Froggy. I feel like every time there's an issue, I feel like we can make things work because he can't stay mad at me for that long and neither can I. Like, he will do something to piss me off so much. Yeah, like this. And then five minutes later, <laughs> and then five minutes later, I'll be like, yo, it's fine. Or he'll just come and like give me a hug or something. Or like, oh, let's go out. And I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna go get a glass of water, throw it on her, and then give you a hug. How about I do that first? <laughs> Why are you getting annoyed now? I can hate you. Oh, did you just say you hate me? I said it takes five <laughs> minutes. It hasn't been getting, five minutes yet. Why are you getting annoyed? Why are you pushing me? I'm not pushing you. I'm just asking you. Why are you getting annoyed? Why are you getting annoyed? Okay, I'll poke you. Why are you trying to, so why are you trying to grab me? Get out! Get out! Yo, what's the good side? Nobody has yeah, it. Why are you tickling him and he's so ticklish? I'm, okay, I'm not ticklish. It's just, okay, you have nails. It feels weird. Guys, yeah, you're such a liar. No, yeah, Froggy's an abuser. They're called abuse. Yeah, he's giving you a hug. Why are you kicking? And Yo. this is my good side. 